The Uniform Hospital Discharge Dataset, which is referred to as the UHDDS, is the core data set for inpatient admissions. The data is collected on inpatient hospital discharges for Medicare and Medicaid programs. Much of the required information can be located on the patient's face sheet. The information provided here is very important for a HEMA CCS, CDIP, CHDA certification examinations. Please make a note of data elements. For more information and further training, visit www.medicineglobal.com. The goal of the UHDDS is to obtain uniform, comparable discharge data on all inpatients to improve the consistency of comparable data across all inpatient settings. The date elements can be categorized into four major categories, patient identification, provider information, clinical information of the patient episode of care, and financial information. Having comparable data could help to determine which hospitals were best at treating patients, which could in turn serve as models to lower costs for the government saved from patients who were not repeatedly readmitted. The official data set consists of the following information. Personal identification, unique identifier. The primary identifier is used by the facility to identify the patient at admission, medical record number. Patient name, this should be the patient legal name, including surname, given name, middle name or initial. Patient's date of birth, this should be in the format of year, month, and day of birth, entered as YYYYMMDD. Gender, this should be noted as male, female, unknown, or undetermined. Race and ethnicity. Residence. Healthcare facility identification number. Admission date and type of admission. Discharge date. Attending physician identification. Surgeon identification. Principal diagnosis. The principal diagnosis is defined as the condition established after study to be chiefly responsible for occasioning the admission of the patient to the hospital for care. Other diagnosis. Other diagnosis consists of additional diagnosis for which the patient received treatment for and consists of complications and comorbidities. Principal procedure and dates. The principal procedure can be defined as a procedure that is performed for therapeutic reasons, rather than diagnostic purposes, or to treat a complication, or that procedure which is most closely related to the principal diagnosis. Other procedures and dates. Other procedures can be defined as additional procedures performed during the inpatient admission. Disposition of patient at discharge. This includes where the patient was discharged to. Examples include the following. Discharge to home, to another acute care hospital, to a nursing facility, to home to be under the care of a home health service, other health care facility, or left against medical advice. Expected payer of most of this bill, this would be who the facility will bill for the services that were provided to the patient. And finally, total charges for the services provided by the facility. The goal of UHDDS is to obtain uniform, comparable discharge data on all inpatients. This information provided here is for awareness purpose only. Visit AHA, CMS, AHIMA websites for authentic information. For more information, visit www.medicineglobal.com.